Hello, hello. Good evening. Good hello, evening. Guys, good evening. Welcome again to yeah. another another session, another lesson to learn more to practice. I hope you have watched already the videos. I was checking that there was a person asking for help. And well, this person should watch the videos that we already um, that we have on YouTube. One moment, guys. Vamos a ponerle silencio ahí. Okay. All right. We're gonna ask the. Um, please turn on the cameras, guys, and thank you for being on time. Okay. I appreciate it. Uh, any questions, guys? Por Rafael, le pone mute, por favor. Es gracias. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Hi, hello, good evening, guys. Vaya, ahora sí, vamos a continuar con la session number three. Oh my God, Rafael, continúa con un gran video. Rafael, por favor. Thank you, Brandy. Verdad que sí, se oye bastante, bastante eh, ecos ahí y pues nos está distrayendo. Ok, uh, let me see. Esta sección, guys, this session is very, very short. And it's not too much to talk about, actually. Uh, so, let me just... Share the screen in a moment. We were going to do a reading. Remember that we were doing the reading uh, activity last time, but because of the time, we couldn't finish that, okay, that part. So I remember if I have my notes here, let me see. I remember some of you uh, wanted to read. So this is the time. We will continue with the reading. I understand that we have already finished this session, right? But we are going to do the reading. And all right, it was Gladys. I remember Gladys, are you here? Let me see, guys. No lo veo a todos ahorita. Okay. Yes, Gladys is there. All right, I also have, well, if you want to read today, guys, you can also raise your hand. Remember, we are, uh, we were doing this activity. So I remember Gladys already read part of this paragraph. And then, Julissa, did you read? Or Julissa is not here? Julissa, yes, she's here as well. Um, good evening. So, good evening. Okay, so uh, Rafael also was supposed to read, and then Alejandra, I guess. Of me, yes. Okay, very good, guys. So, um, give me just a second. Uh, there are a lot of mosquitoes right now, so I need it. My fan. There you go. Okay, now I'm, I'm ready. I feel more comfortable. All right, guys. So uh, please help me read. Let's start one more time, okay? So this time, Alejandra wanted to read and also Gladys, are you ready? Yes. Good, right. So, uh, please start since the topic, okay? Okay. Here we are. Uh, a day in your life. Okay. Um, in the year 2020, uh, people used to know more or less how their children live. Nothing to live. Mm -hmm. Nothing are changing so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives 
will be like in a few years. What follows is called... our own lives, en este caso sí es lives, okay guys? Tenemos dos, verb, eh, dos palabras que son parecidas, all right? We have live, which is the verb, all right? So you can identify it on the context, which is a verb, okay? And the other part that, that is live, es cuando digo, por ejemplo, en vivo, ¿ok? Eso es un live. Ustedes han visto que, ah, este en vivo fulanito. Es un live, eso es un live. Ok, ahora, si estamos hablando de live, singular, it's with the F. Ah, uh, it's like L-I-F-E, ¿ok? Pero en plural sí cambia, ¿verdad? Por eso ahí sí es lives. All right, guys? Lives. Ok, I'm sorry to interrupt. One more, continue, please. Continue, continue, Gladys. What happened with Gladys? She got disconnected maybe? Vaya, no, no le gustó que la corrigiera entonces. Vaya, vamos con Julissa, no, please. Teacher, teacher. Hola. Era, era yo la que estaba, la que estaba, Alejandra era quien estaba leyendo. Entonces como dijo Gladys, creí que tenía que continuar Gladys y ya no yo. Oh. Oh, sorry. Sí. Yo pensé que Gladys estaba leyendo. Sorry, Alejandra. No, no, no. I apologize. Entonces, continuo. Okay. Perdón. Please continue. Okay. Uh, read, read. Uh, now things are changing so quickly. Please continue. Sorry. Okay. Um, so quickly that we don't even know what our own lives will be like. We don't like. even even know. Even know what our own lives. Lives. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Life, lives will be like in a few years. What follows is how experts see the future. How experts see the future. Okay. What experts. follows, what follows, remember guys, eso la, lo de la regla de las terceras personas, ¿verdad? Siempre lleva la S. Así que por eso hay que, eh, hay que pronunciarla. Igual cuando we are talking, also remember if we're talking in simple present, we need to mention Well, well, in the third person, we always have to use the S. All right. Thank you, Alejandra. I appreciate it. All right. And now, uh, Julissa, can you continue? Yeah. Okay. You're daydreaming behind the wheel of your car, but that's okay. You have it on automatic pillow. And pilot. with pilot, sorry, and with its high tech computers, you your car knows how to get your you home safely. Home safely. All right. How to get you home safety? Oh, uh, sorry, Safe. safely. Safe. All right. Safe. Very good. Okay. Uh, I remember also. Lo siento, guys, que aquí escribí un, unos nombres que ni yo los entiendo. A la carrera. All right. <laughs> You're thinking, teacher. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So, Rafael, do we want to continue with the other paragraph? Okay. Aunque van a escuchar un pequeño ruido porque hay una reunión acá, pero lo voy a hacer. It's okay, Rafael. Okay. The after. Okay. After, after noise, you go. go uh, uh, your, no. your head, your, you head, guess head, guys. In this case, miren, tu cabeza no podría ser porque no dice your. Dice you head for the chicken. For the chicken kitchen, sorry. <laughs> no, estaba leyendo otra parte. Es ah, you okay. head But for aquí the estamos. chicken. You head for. Sí, when you get home, you address gross, grossly ordered, by... you ordered, ordered, ordered groceries by computer and house computer an hour computer ago, an hour ago, um, and they, and they been delivered, delivered. Delivered, you, you paint 
Vaya, vaya. Espéreme, Rafael. Vaya. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Eh, creo que está bastante este, dis, distraído por la reunión. I know that you are kind of busy right now, but thank you for being connected, guys. I understand that sometimes we have different activities, but it's okay. Now, my, my point is this, guys, when there is a period, el puntito hay que hacer la pausa, ¿verdad? Para sonar mucho, mucho más, eh, pues que se nos comprenda mucho mejor la idea que estamos tratando de, uh, the, the, the idea you want to um, transmit. You head for, ¿qué era un head for? No es la cabeza, guys. It's a verb. En este caso es un verbo. To me, you it know? sounds like... Uh, someone goes to the kitchen. Exactly. You go directly uh, to the kitchen. Head, así, ¿verdad? Cabal, usted eh, apunta o va, ¿verdad? Es exactly. Diego, thank you so much. All right, so you had, te vas para la cocina cuando tú llegas a casa. Eso es lo que dice. Punto. You ordered groceries, pediste, ¿qué? Groceries, comida, by computer an hour ago, and they, an hour ago, and they've, v, v, Pronunciation, guys, esos sonidos al final, all right? They've been delivered, da, 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 da. Esa ED también hay que exagerar porque estamos hablando en pasado. We need to be a little bit more exaggerated with the ED endings, all right? Uh, so, uh, please continue reading. Vamos a ver, who wants to read? Uh, la vez pasada, ya me leyó Alejandra. Gladys, are you here or not? Yeah, Gladys is here. Can you con yeah. can you start all over, please? With your you had you had for the kitchen. Okay. You had for the kitchen when you get home. You ordered groceries by computer an hour ago, and they've been delivered. You pay for them before. The the no, delivered. Deliver. Delivered. Delivered. Okay. Uh -huh. They've been delivered, and you pay for them before they arrive. The money was automatically... They delivered. arrived. Da. Ese sonido al final, necesito escucharlo bien, guys. Y ahorita sí me voy a poner los audífonos para escucharlos mejor. Okay, give me a second card. Okay, you pay for them before, before they arrive. Yes, much better, yeah. much better. The money was automatically deducted from your bank account. Nobody uses cash anymore. Uses. Uses cash anymore. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Give me a moment. I don't hear. I don't know why. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, con YouTube sí me funciona. Can you hear me? Yes? We can hear you. Okay, but I don't hear you guys. I don't know what's going on here. Mm. Now, since last time, I don't know why it's not letting me listen in. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Diego, do you want to continue? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. What's for lunch? Oh, What's sorry. For lunch? Mm -hmm. oh. Go. Go. What's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use a diagnostic machine to find out which foods your diagnostic? body needs. Diagnostic? Diagnostic. Diagnostic. Uh -huh. Okay. Now Just you a use... moment. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. I think my computer is kind of crazy today. Don't worry. Yeah, give me a second. Okay, much better, sorry. Okay. What is going on? Are you playing, teacher? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm playing with you. Are you playing with us? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't mean to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I am not. Okay. So sorry, Diego. No, fíjese que mi computadora está como un poco loca ahora. Uh, just let me open the platform. 
Ay, vaya. To have you read it. Okay. Go. What's for lunch? Okay. What's for lunch? In the old days, you used to stop off to get a hamburger or pizza. Now you use your diagnostic machine to find out which foods your body needs. Your food preparation machine makes you a salad. All right. Imagine that would be great to have a machine that can cook for you, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, very nice pronunciation, Diego. Just remember the E. All right. You, you, you. It's a little bit soft. You are. Right? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Ooh, you, you, you. All okay. right. Uh, anybody else who wants to continue? Help me, please, Brandy. I know Brandy always wants to participate. Mm. Oh my God. No sé si es el mouse or my computer, guys. But okay, here we go. Are you ready, computer? Okay. Okay. After, <laughs> after lunch, you go down the hall to your home office. Here you have everything you need to do your work. You never have to commute commute commute, commute. commute to work anymore. Mm -hmm. All right. Commute means to make like to go to work, right? To move, to go to work in this case. All right. Any other person who wants to read the other part mm -hmm. of our face? Yeah, I go. But I can see that. <laughs> I know, Steffi. Has... But I see. Sorry. Your information screens is that you received a message from a co worker. Breaking in... up. Yeah, he's kind of breaking up. Your information screen says that mm -hmm. you uh, received. Yes. A message from a co-worker in Brazil. You set your computer to translate Portuguese into English. Your face appears on the screen and the translations appear at the bottom. At the bottom. All right. Thank you. Another another volunteer to read the fa the, the last paragraph, guys. Go. Hello? Yes, okay. we can hear you. Okay, you finish working and go back to the living room. You turn on the television and look through the list of new movies. It's like having a video store in, having? Your, home, in your home. Having? It's like having a video store in your home. How about a classic tonight? Maybe back to the future. Future. All right. Thank you. It's like having a You're video welcome. store. Video store. Video store. All right. Video store. Very nice. Okay. Thank you, guys. So, uh, we are done with this, guys. Any questions? Just vi que ahí estaban preguntando que no habían terminado ni la sección uno. ¿Quién, quién estaba preguntando, guys? Uh -huh. No, you don't have any questions. No, ok. Eh, um, guys, todas estas, sec la sección 1 y 2 ya la terminamos. Solo nos quedamos pendientes con el session number 2. Eh, perdón, la, eh, so, con el reading, ok. Así que, we continue with this in a minute 2. So, yeah. we are doing the number, the session number 3. And this yeah. is very, hello. Hello, teacher. Eh, fíjese que eh, nosotros tenía, bueno, yo tengo una consulta acerca de, de la tercera sección. Eh, yo lo coloqué en el grupo, pero ya era el, el examen, creo que ese es el examen. Es eh, eh, de un listening, pero eh, las respuestas eh, las trato de colocar, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? Así como eh, respuestas cortas, respuestas largas, pero no sé cómo debería de colocarlo porque siempre me da error. Don't worry, Evelyn. Remember, the thing is that we haven't started this session yet. Ok, yo les, yo pues, si les incito, ¿verdad? That you can actually read before or watch the videos before the classes, but if you have any inconvenience with the answers, 
then we are going to do it together here in the class, all right? So you don't have to worry because we have until this coming Friday to finish session three, okay? So we will uh, solve the exercise or the, leading, uh, the listening part right now. Don't worry, okay? Now, if you can see, let me see the 3.0, it's actually talking about celebration, all right? So you should have watched already this video. The, I don't know, this session is really, really very, for me, super short. There are um, no many topics to talk about. So basically, guys, as you can also see, it's only... Very good. What? Remember, you may listen to the audio program. Hi, it's I, actually... I want you to follow super short look 28 seconds i mean it's basically just uh, talking about vocabulary okay so in this case i hope you have watched already this video so we are going to read okay we're going to use these Hi, examples these words this vocabulary to talk about some celebrations okay uh, so guys do you have any question with this uh well not pronunciation because you can watch the video if you don't know how to pronounce these words but also how to em employ them or use them in on the context okay so for example uh, anniversary Right, anniversary. Oh, right. The anniversary of El Salvador is when? September 15th. Exactly. The September 15th is El Salvador's anniversary. All right. So what do we normally do on those anniversary, guys? Do we have cake? Not necessary. Not necessary. But if we have like a birthday party, yes. In that case, yes, we can have a birthday cake. But for example, when can we use or how can you give me the example on how to use the cards? That is basically the invitations, right? Sending the cards. It's basically give you a gift card. the, the gift cards, for example. Correct. OK. Um, so imagine if I if I give you my example, I would like you to also um, give me your example. Driving. OK, Alexander. OK. For example, okay, on the anniversary of El Salvador, we normally celebrate it with a very good, with, with a lot of parades everywhere, all right? Um, uh, we also use a lot of fireworks in El Salvador. Uh, since the very, very morning, we actually start celebrating this uh, anniversary. Uh, we have this parade. Eso estamos hablando de los desfiles, ¿verdad? Uh, we have um some celebrations some people make parties i am not like very very uh fond of parties no pues no me gustan mucho las fiestas así de see that depends la, the depends on the parties <laughs> but yeah no, like that for the independence yo no me siento tan independiente verdad siempre estamos dependiendo we all we continue uh being independent uh, dependent from the united states basically so we don't have a very very in my opinion we don't have like a, a liberty uh, that we can celebrate this so um but what happens in a normal anniversary okay for example maybe you watch the video and they were mentioning some customs or traditions yeah some traditions in japan for example right they celebrate uh, the anniversary, they receive presents, uh, they eat whatever. So how can we employ this, guys? How can we em employ the um, this vocabulary? Vamos a ver, ¿quién me puede dar como un pequeño summary de, in, digamos, empleando estos, estos, estas palabras? How can you tell me that, guys? What do you normally do on a birthday party? Do you like to celebrate your birthday? I'm not really fond of celebrating my birthday, but well, my family really likes to celebrate my ber my birthday with mm -hmm. some cake, uh, a little party, and for example, my my grandmother really likes to dance, so she invites me to dancing with her 
Okay. And we uh, spend time together. Then they give me some presents. Yeah. And I want to use uh, some words of this Excellent. list. Uh, You're doing awesome. Yeah, very good. Super, super. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then we drink. Then we drink some fruit punch, for example. <laughs> All right, bien, mira, muy bien, guys. Hey, thank you, Diego. Super, super, guy, super nice. Okay. Our, we can not only talk about fruit punch. Normally, normally on birthdays, parties, we drink beer or alcohol, beer. right? Spirit. Yeah, or soda. Spirit, que es también hablando de alcohol, ¿verdad? The spirit. El spirit uh, es como el espíritu, pero no, en, en, se, se refiere a alcohol, all right? So, you have some people drink a lot of beer, they get really wasted. Ponerse bien borracho significa, ah, be wasted. Está súper borracho. Wasted. Wasted. Okay. wasted. Uh, let me, uh, let me, uh, porque waste, por ejemplo, es waste. waste. Ajá, es como gastar, Oye. desperdiciar, Ajá. right? But, but you say wasted, es como que bien gastado, pero en este caso significa como muy borracho, right? Wasted. It's like, eh, como cuando dicen atrapado, como, eh, a mí se me viene a la mente como en GTA, en el juego de GTA, que dice waste, pero, but, pero no, no recuerdo si era así <ríe> la palabra. ¿Cuál, perdone? I'm sorry. Eh, waste. Wasted. Wasted. I just... Uh, Uh, that... Send it in the message. Wasted. Uh -huh. Wasted. Uh -huh. It's like uh -huh. to be really drunk. Ponerse hasta, okay. hasta el tope. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that is wasted. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you, Diego. Any other, any other person who wants to give me a, a, like a short story about your celebration? Or why do you like, if you don't like to celebrate it, I know that your mom It's always like attentively waiting for your birthday. They try to give you some presents. They try to do like a small celebration or at least they, um, well, your family normally um, gives, you, gives you like a, a lunch or a dinner. Normally it's just food. That's just it together. Sometimes a cake is very, very common. Obviously you always, have a cake where you make wishes, right? When you ask for a wish, when you blow the candles, okay? So what else can you tell me, guys? Vamos, Brandy, you want to say something? Do you like to celebrate your birthday? I celebrate my birthday all myself with my kids. Okay, now on my wedding, <laughs> uh -huh. on my wedding, I didn't invite it to my family, just was, You didn't people. invite your family, all right? I didn't invite some, yeah, my family, just some friend, the people who signed, the lawyer and the translator because my husband is from United States, so he can speak Spanish. Oh, uh, somebody right. gave me flowers and uh, I'm really ordered fruit punch, but the people who was there in the wedding, they, they Where? was... Were. They were there. They was drinking uh, alcohol and beers. They were drinking. Remember, it's plural. They were, so were. Uh -huh. they were drinking. Uh, I didn't have a cake, but uh, I ordered a cupcake. <laughs> okay. Because it's a cake is too much for all the people who was there. It's just five, five six, seven with me. Uh, really? We didn't have a party because yes, it was the wedding. And I give them right and uh, we come back home. Okay. And, and came back. All right. Remember, you're talking about past. So you say gave. Yo les di. Uh, I gave them. I okay. gave them came right. Back. Okay. Remember to use the past when we're talking about your past um, experiences. All right. Very good, Brandy. And when did you get married? Last year on July 12th. Okay, very nice. I love when you're using, for example, the uh, um, preposition on, all right? Because that is the correct way to say, guys. If you're just mentioning the month, then you say just in, 
All right, so we said that my birthday is in July, for example, but if you want to be more specific, then you can say, oh, my birthday is on July the 11th. On, ahí sí dice on. Si solo menciona el, el mes, ahí decimos in. Así que very good job how you used this preposition, Randy, all right? El time de las preposiciones del tiempo, right? In, on, at. Yeah, you should know when to use it. Very good. Any other, any other story that you can mention, guys? So you can use the part of this vocabulary. Crazy parties, please. Uh huh. Nobody wants to remember. Me. Nobody, nobody wants to talk about. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I like my birthday just because I receive presents. That's it. That's it. But. Hello. Okay. It makes me feel, hi Morena, it makes me feel older and older and older. Ya me voy sintiendo más viejita. So that's why I don't like, I don't like my, I don't like uh, birthdays. At, at least my birthday. All right. Morena, you want to say something? Yes, I would like, I would like, um, wait, wait. Who would like, would like, I would like. Yes, I would like to tell you about when in my uh, in my work celebrate the party on December. And in, in, in December. December, I'm so sorry. Yes, in December, um, uh, with all co-worker, right? And uh, we spend a lot of beautiful co time. Co-workers, right? co yes. Uh, yes, uh, we spend a lot of beautiful time at night. And time. dancing. Time. Uh, time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, the bosses gave us some present gift cards. Um, they celebrate very good because they um, they enjoy to spend time together. Bosses time. with agent. Time. Spend time together. All right. And are you talking about the Christmas party? Yes, yes, yes because only party that I sometime. I go. Time? Sometime. Time. I go. Sometime I, I go. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. All right. My pleasure. My pleasure. Excellent, guys. Those are one of the best parties ever, right? Uh when like the job parties for like Christmas celebrations are really good. Uh, they give you different presents and sometimes they uh, do like raffles, right? Um, and unfortunately, I am not that lucky. I've never won anything. Nunca he ganado nada. And people are like, okay, they have like a new to be, like a yes. new plasma, right? And wow, they're super lucky. I really envy them. Yo nunca me <laughs> Bueno, lo mejor, mejor me gano, pero las cosas que no debería ganarme, ¿verdad? Only bad things, vea. All right. Well, thank a you. warming. <laughs> thank you very much, guys. All right. So you see, guys, um, I know the vocabulary. Sometimes it's like, oh, I know these words. I already know this. But how to employ them, how to use them, it's the most important thing. Okay. And now the 3.2, there we're gonna talk about the relative clauses. Um, if does somebody know what a relative clause is? Sí, mire, de verdad que yo cuando me hablaban de relative clauses, yo me quedaba como que eso que I know, guys. But it's super, super easy. It's just when um, like um, conjunction or an, a word that uh, links two ideas. For example, one main, um, one main clause or sentence that has another, uh, that has another subordinating clause. So that is basically just to make, um, to make or to join two sentences, all right? That's it. And we have different time, uh, well, we have different clauses, but in this case, we will talk just about time. What was that relative clause for time? When? Exactly. When? Verdad que no solamente como la WH question, verdad, que es when, como 
lo ocupamos siempre al, al inicio. We use it, como, when do you celebrate uh, your Independence Day? All right. Uh, well, for example, in Mexico, they don't celebrate the, the Independence Day on the 15th of, the, of September. I believe they, they celebrate it before. Creo que un poquito lo celebran antes. I don't know. But for example, in the United States, they do not celebrate um, on the same day, right? They celebrate it on July the 4th. All right, so, so when, in this case, it's also used to talk or to join two sentences. For example, well, July the 4th is when Americans celebrate their um, independence. independence. When, when, mm -hmm. eso es la gran cosa. De verdad que este tema, guys, is super, super easy. I know that you, you should have watched already this video and this is super, super short, if I'm not mistaken, look, it's basically Hello. 18 seconds, super, super short. So there is not too much to talk about, but I would like you to give me some examples using when. For example, guys, um, Christmas is the time when I really, really enjoy uh, spending time with my family because most of my family, uh, well, at least two of my aunts live in the United States and they always come by this time. So that is why uh, I enjoy it, right? I ocupo el when, right? Also, um, look guys, I really don't like when people start, when people start talking about some other people and they are not like the one or the, like the indicated to talk about something, right? Ahí estamos ocupando el when. Somebody else could, uh, wants to give me another example how to use when? Uh, for example, my birthday, my birthday, my, my birthday, sorry. It's, it's okay. a day when I when. don't want to do anything because it's, it's my day. All right, very good, all right. Excellent, excellent. So okay. guys, another, another? Yes, um, my mother celebrates the Father's Day when his father is where in her house. Another, another way to use when, very good. But also the relative clause is to, to give like extra information as well. For example, oh, you know, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to give you the present, guys, because I right now I don't have money. But when I get paid, I'm going to give you the money. That is another way to use. But we are talking about, for example, the uh, Christmas is when everybody celebrates, when everybody gets drunk. Okay, that is another use uh, use um, to um, to talk about the um, the relative clauses. Okay, guys, let me show you if I have something here. Uh -um. What happened? Ahí está. So the relative clause, guys, is actually a, a word that gives extra information about the person, the situation, about the thing that we're doing or we're talking about, all right? Um, and sometimes gives us essential information, all right? Um, you know, hmm, when I was, puede ir al inicio también, right? When uh, high school, high school is, uh, it's a time when, Right, it's a time when you really, really enjoy. In my opinion, that was my best time, maybe when I was in high school. Another when. Okay, another example. Thank you, Morena and Diego. Any anybody else who wants to give me another example? Valentine's Day is when everybody try to get married or try to have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Well, most boyfriend because the boyfriend gives some uh, gift to the woman <laughs> very good women el empleado verdad bueno women. Si ah, yeah. alguna, women. decimos woman y no y si no decimos women all right it's when all right it's when many couple yeah valentine's day is when many couple get married all right when many couples get married very good nice example okay 
Eh, y tenemos más, guys, que obviamente ahorita solo estamos viendo en el, de, el del time, ¿verdad? Pero tenemos más. Por ejemplo, si yo uso este who, estoy hablando de dar información. Mire, oh, I know a person who it's really, really interesting. Oh, you know, I met a man who was really, really interesting. Wow, super handsome. Ok, ahí ocupamos who. Todas estas son relative clauses as well. El which, para las cosas, oh, you know, uh, my computer, it's, a, it's really nice. Uh, it's, a, it's an Acer, which, it's a, it's a very nice computer, which. Ok, el that y el which se ocupan para las cosas. El when, ya lo decimos, when you're talking about time. Y tenemos where, ¿para qué creen que se ocupa el where? For a place. For a place to talk about a location. Thank you. Very good, guys. Um, that's it. Vamos a ver qué más. Qué más, qué más, qué más hay, qué más hay. Uh -oh. Sí, de verdad que este tema es súper rápido. Creo que vamos a avanzar a la, a la section 4 esta semana porque uh, vamos a practicar los verbos en pasado también, guys, porque. Um, en algunos casos se nos olvidan las pronunciaciones. All right. Now, guys, I need a volunteer to read these instructions. All right. How much do you know about this day? A month. Read the sentence and complete the sentences and complete them by choosing the best information. The best information. Thank you. All right, guys. So, New Year's, uh, New Year's Day, New Year's Day is a day when people have parties with uh, family and friends. friends. With family and friends. Thank you. Uh huh. Can you help me with number two? Any any other person? April. 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 Day when. It's a day when April's food. Uh, people sometimes play tricks on friends. All right. Okay. Yalan, have you have you have you been a victim of that, guys? Or no? Ya se las han hecho así. No. La brumita, yes. verdad? Ah, Diego. All right. <laughs> Diego, do you work? Yes, I work at uh, high tech consulting with Marcelo. He's my partner. Oh, with Marcelo as well. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So, ahí los, los compañeros de trabajo son los más bromistas, ¿verdad? O los compañeros del colegio. Oh, my God. Ellos siempre. They were always playing tricks. All right. Um, nice. Tell me with number three, please. Anybody? I and you are most. When many young adults choose to get married. May and June, all right, are the months. Yeah. Months, all right. Are the months when? When many young, young adults choose to get married. Okay, young, como Papa John, no. Más suavecito, young, young, young. young. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Thank you. Number four. Okay. Valentine Day is Valentine's. Valentine. Oh, Valentine Day is Valentine. Day. No, Valentine's. La S Morenita. This. Okay. Valentine's Day is a day when people. The option. Express. People express their love to someone. Okay. To some, to people someone. express their love to someone. Thank you. What about number five? El día del trabajo, Labor Day. Labor Day is a day when. Uh -huh. People in many people, countries. People in many countries. Honor, honor. workers. Honor, 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 workers. honor workers. workers. Thank you. And finally, the number six. February is the month when. Month. Month when. Month. Quiero que me enseñe la lengua. Month. Month. Yeah. Very good. I see it. Month. February. February. 
February. February. Ahí no la pronuncio, no. Es February. 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 La R es muda ahí. February. February. Es como que January dice, no. January. Y aquí es February. 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 People sometimes play trick or friends. On friends. Times. No. Brazilian celebrate. I believe it should be. Esa es la que no seleccionamos. Así que esta debería ser. Brazilian celebrate carnival. Brazilians. All right. Yes. 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 Brazilian celebrate carnival. Yes. Correct. Carnival. Carnival. Eh, guys, Brasil. Zzz, acuérdense Brazil. que el Brasil como que fuera una vispita, zzz, zumbando, ¿ok? Zzz, thank you. Ok, vaya, si se fijan, esta sección sí que la vamos a terminar. We're gonna finish this session super, super fast. So, I'm gonna give you, um, we will do some reviews for different tenses. Lo que vamos a hacer esta semana, because we will have enough time is to, to talk about the simple present, the simple past, the, the present perfect, the present perfect continuous, si ustedes lo quieren también, un poco de todos, ¿ok? Eso vamos a estar practicando porque creo que al, a la mayoría pues se nos olvidan ciertos auxiliares, ¿verdad? Cómo ocupar los auxiliares o la forma del verbo. So that is what I, I, I'm planning to do this week because this session is super, super short. All right. Eh, la que me preguntó Evelyn es, era de la listening, pero ya ese es el examen, ¿verdad, Evelyn? Esa ya está después de la 13, quiero ver. 3.6. Yes, I have the same problem. I, I... This one? Yes. 3. Yes, it is. Yes. 3.6. Oh, ok. So let's pay attention now and we will do it together, ok? Aquí lo vamos okay. a hacer en todos, pues, ok? Let me know if you can hear. Page 52. Exercise yes. Five. yes. Yes. Listening. Carnival time. Part A. Mike has just returned from Brazil. Listen to him talk about carnival. What did he enjoy most about it? Isn't that music fantastic? It's from a samba CD that I got when I was in Rio for carnival. Wow! Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room. Vamos a ver si me deja poner el si, se, se, si me deja. Okay, guys. Um, pay attention. I'm going to ask you some questions. No solamente de los que están ahí, sino que también les voy a hacer un par de preguntitas extra. So, pay attention. ¿Qué es last? El último. Sí, pero aquí, que, ¿a qué se refiere? How many days does the carnival last? Duration. Duration. Eh, the carnival last, y ahí ponemos, ok, dura, ¿verdad? The carnival mm. lasts four days, all right? Good. In advance, because hotels fill up really quickly. Hotels fill out really quickly. Yeah. Okay, that means that they are sold out, right? There, is, there, there are not... Uh, there are no rooms, there are not um, hotels special. available. Any All right. Um, it's very common. Here in Suchitoto, we celebrate our, um, we have a, a carnival as well, but we celebrate um, las fiestas patronales. All right. Uh, I don't really know how to say, but we can say the town parties, right? The town parties. We can translate it like that. Remember, guys, cuando no sabemos cómo decir algo, tratamos de buscar más opciones, ¿verdad? No solo como, ah, como no sé cómo decirlo, me quedo callado. Come on. No, hay que decirlo de otra forma, all right? But what we need to know, or we need, we need to uh, emphasize or to inform or communicate is we can say it in different ways, right? If we don't find this word, no hay que quedarnos callados. Busquemos otra forma de decirlas. Okay, so... Uh, here in Suchitoto, we celebrate mm -hmm. our, the um, town parties. We can say it like, like that. In December, 
and they are really and it's super crowded everywhere right there are uh, parties in every single town in todos los barrios there is there is a party and believe me there are not hotels available y se, se llenan todos así que it's very common pero imagínense río tan famoso right alguien ha ido a brasil has somebody gone or been to Brazil? Me. Really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Tell us, uh, so Gladys, when did you go? I went to Brazil on August uh, 2015. In August. In oh, August. Ahí, oh. si, si solo menciono el mes, digo y. Si menciono la fecha específica, y digo on. Oh. Okay, in August 2015. 2015, okay, okay. Uh, how many days did you spend there? Uh, 20, 21 days. Wow. Yeah, I went to the tour that go to the Concordado. Mm -hmm. And it has really nice views of the Rio de Janeiro. Okay, I've never been to Brazil, but I wish I try. I can. I could go. Okay, I could go one day. Hey, nice, Gladys. All right. Uh, so, were you in the carnival? The the no, 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 because the carnival is in February. 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 All right. It's in for. It's in February. All right. Very good, guys. Let's continue listening. Ah, ya sabía. Siempre me pasa eso. Porque... When you when you play, when o sea, you start, you have to go back and you have to come back. I know. No, you can't do it. You have to go to the other page and you have to come back. I know, I know. Por eso no me gusta pausarlo mucho porque siempre cuesta después. It's a little bit complex, complicated. Page fifty two or early March, but you need to book a hotel room when Wow. Carnival in Rio is really something. It's a party that lasts for four whole days. It's held in late February or early March, but you need to book a hotel room way in advance because hotels fill up really quickly. Carnival is celebrated all over Brazil, but the most famous party is in Rio. The whole city is decorated with colored lights and streamers. It's really beautiful. Everyone is very friendly, especially to visitors from other countries. The best part about Carnival is the big parade. The costumes are unbelievable. People work on them for months. It's really fantastic to watch. Everyone dances the samba in the streets. I'd really recommend you go to Rio for Carnival if you ever have the chance. Okay. Page 52, exercise five, part B. Listen again and answer these questions. Okay. Same thing, right? Thank you. Okay, guys. So a carnival is a party, simply. It's a party, all right? What's a carnival? It's a party, okay? How long does it last? What will be the answer? Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Solo pueden poner entonces así, four days, pero lo ponen en letras, ¿ok? Four days. Four days. Four days. Aquí. Puede ser, it lasts for four days. Vamos a dejarlo, puede dejarlo solo así, o puede dejarlo solo four days, etc. No, in my no. case, give, in my case, I, I, I type four, number four, in years and give me a, uh, was wrong and I typed the letter four and it told me that it's right. It's uh, wrong too. It's wrong. Okay, maybe because uh, you need to add four days. Okay, y los puntitos That's también. That's wrong. Yeah, I used point two and it was wrong. Okay, uh, no. let's leave it like I this. Also, I also esa sería la respuesta. Dígame, Gladys, sorry. I also tried uh, a lot of a lot of ways to write long sentences, shorter, and it didn't accept anyone. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm giving you the, the answers how to do it, but yo lo voy, vamos a ver si me sale malo, pues usted. It's wrong. It, 
It is a part of its run too. Mm -hmm. For it, it, it's Vamos like. Déjeme terminar, ok, y si hay algún error, pues yo ahí vamos a buscarla, vamos a buscar la respuesta correcta, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Vaya, si usted, ¿qué es lo que pasa? Miren, si ponen it's a party, hay que ponerle punto, ok, it's a party, o solo poner party, solo party, punto, sin punto, y ahí se lo, se lo va a dar. Vamos a ver, eh, puede decir it last. Sí, es que, es que dura con la S. Si no le pone la S, no le va a dar. Y si no le pone for, solo four days, lo que me dice Brandy, me extraña que no le dio lo correcto, pero entonces dejémoslo así. Eh, for four days. O sea, que es por cuántos oh, es el four, days. creo que le faltó. El for four days. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Puede ser solo así o le pone completo. When is it? Eh. Exacto lo que dijo It's on early March. Miren, it's on late February. February, me siguen diciendo February. 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 Entonces pone así, ve. It is on late February or early March. Y el punto, ¿ok? Eh, vale, le voy a compartir las respuestas mejor para que ustedes de un solo... The number four, y la última, what, what is samba? It's a dance. Puede no. solo poner it is a dance. It is okay? dance. Or the dance. samba is a dance. Vamos, miren, vamos a ver, tengo, ahí no lo tengo bien, it's a party, no. así, sin punto, yeah. tampoco. Uh, um, ah, entonces pongámosle carnival is a party. Así, en lugar de carnival is a party. Ah, es que le faltó el a ah, party. Acuérdense, vamos a ver ahora. Tampoco. Try with ah. it is a party. Ajá, perdón, entonces sería así, it is. Thank you, Diego. Thank you. Es que el A creo que si no le ponían el A, también le salía malo. Okay. What is going no. on? It's a party. Punto. Hoy sí. Ok. Vaya. Hoy sí se los mando, chicos. Cópienlo, por favor. Y ahora aquí está la número uno, number one, para que le salga el 100. Number one, ahí está. It's a party. En number two, it last. Póngalo justo como mm -hmm. yo se los mando para que no les cueste. I will take a picture if you want, teacher, if you don't it, have it, time. It's okay. Dele, 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 tome screenshot. Yo se los mando porque como acá no, no aparece todo, todo. Por ejemplo, este, le mm -hmm. no, no, no sale este. O un early March, ok, por eso. Mm -hmm. okay. Ahí está, guys. Tal vez no se las puse en orden, pero sí, ahí están las cuatro respuestas. Okay. It's a party. Acuérdense, tiene que ir con punto. Ok. Eh, that's it. Ahí está. Ya está resuelto ese, ese, ese nuevo, ese otro. Ok. I was yesterday for all the afternoon try to please the, the audio and that tried to do many. Ah, uh, no. Nah. Con razón, Evelyn <laughs> también estaba como que, ¿qué hago? ¿Qué hago? But it's okay, guys. Eh, perdón, miren, hasta hoy, ahora estuve en el seguro y uh, I was driving as well, so that is why I was not uh, like uh, checking my cell phone. Incluso yo fui al de Ilopango y como ahí está la cárcel de mujeres, pues ahí rarísimo que nos pegue la señal, ¿verdad? Entonces y vine casi a las seis de la tarde, entonces no estuve muy pendiente, ya se imagina cuando, how long it lasts to be a, in, en seguro social, right? Por lo menos cuatro horas, pero creo que me tardé de una y media, cuatro y media, only three hours, but I came here like around 6 p.m., all right? And I got a flat tire, y hasta, hasta se me ponchó la llanta, guys, it was a mess. So I'm sorry if I was not able to text you, but yeah, a veces sí que uno no, no puede estar pendiente, mucho menos. If you're driving, it's really, really complicated to, 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 to check. 
Y pues cuando estaban pe preguntando, yo dije, bueno, lo vamos a hacer en la clase, pues porque lo mejor es mejor esperar la clase, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Y así pues no solo, no todos estamos revisando el WhatsApp, uh -huh. pero en la clase sí, entonces y, incluso queda grabada, ¿verdad? Por si tenemos alguna duda. Okay. Eh, guys, tenemos prácticamente ya las 9 pm, así que mmm, I'll see you tomorrow. Si no tienen ninguna duda por el momento, nos quedamos acá y traten de ir viendo. Los videos son bien cortos de esta sección, así que You're traten de verlo. I'm sorry. You're not going to check the list at 10. The attendance. Attendance. Ah, no, hombre, pero es que ahora había un montón, mire. Hoy sí, eh, um, quiero ver, de edit poco me recuerdo, más que no me enciende la cámara. Marcelo siempre está trabajando, creo yo, y por eso que no, ni enciende la cámara, ¿verdad? Bueno, guys, pero ahora pues, <risa> prácticamente estamos, si se fijan, habíamos 26 conectados. Así que yo sé que aquí estuvimos todos ahora. Ok, guys, eh, see you tomorrow, por favor, cualquier cosa. ¿Verdad? Nos esperamos a, a resolverlo en la clase juntos. Nos vemos el día de mañana, guys. Bye, bye. Take care.